much to offer the Pontifical Mass on the first Saturday of the month in the Archdiocese of Glasgow. I'm deeply grateful to His Grace Archbishop Philip Tartaglia for his most gracious hospitality and to Father Mark Morris for his warm welcome to Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish. I thank Mr. Fred Stone of Una Voce, Scotland, for the invitation to offer the Pontifical Mass today, as well as all who have worked with him in the preparation for my visit and above all for the Pontifical Mass. I'm offering the Holy Mass for the intention of the Church in Scotland, especially as the bishops of Scotland prepare to consecrate your beloved homeland to the Immaculate Heart of Mary tomorrow at the Scottish National Shrine of Our Lady at Carfin. Celebrating the centennial of the apparitions of Our Lady to three shepherd children at Cova da Iria near Fatima in Portugal, we are deeply conscious of her maternal concern for the Church, who carries out her divine mission in a society and culture marked by widespread and poisonous materialism, secularism, and practical atheism.
great blessings will come to your country as a result of this consecration. And I pray in a very particular way that the consecration will bring about a, a renewed Catholic life uh, in Scotland. God bless you all. What a great honour for our country. Cardinal Raymond Leo Burke has arrived in Scotland and Glasgow today to say Pontifical High Mass at the Immaculate Heart in Balornock. Capping off a fantastic weekend for our nation as tomorrow the Bishops of Scotland will consecrate our country to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Well, what a triumphant event that uh, we've had Cardinal Burke in the parish today and I think we're all simultaneously elated and exhausted. Um, so much work has gone into this, the whole parish has come together. Even I had a paintbrush in my hand at one point, although somebody had to go over my patch, it wasn't very good. But the music's come together, the servers have had their rehearsals, and it's just been great. Um, it's, really, it's really brought us together and all um, coming to a climax in this beautiful celebration of Holy Mass um, in the fullest form, the Pontifical High Mass. So it's been a pleasure to be involved in it and going forward we hope that it will be um, an impetus for uh, a renewal of tradition, a renewal of the beauty of our, beauty of our Catholic faith and uh, it's been a pleasure to share that with everybody who's been here in our packed out church. I think the, um, the Mass is just, it's, first of all it's aesthetically so beautiful but I think it's always pointing to Christ in that. So um, I think we, we always talk about this that the mass it's the mass that our fathers went to that our uh, great father you know great grand uh, parents um, it's been the mass for the ages and so um, to come and experience this today has been amazing because you see you basically see a slice of history. Um, it is just so beautiful it's so engaging and prayerful the music is incredible and it just is there's not really a word to describe it it's just beautiful. So I, um, I try to attend Met Shorn Reform whenever I get the chance and this was the first time I'd had an opportunity to go to a, a pontifical high mass and it was really just great you know, to see the, the fullest form of, of the Roman rites. So, uh, wow, it's, what, what an occasion, what a day. Um, it's an absolute honour and a pleasure to have sung for his eminence and as my friends and I in the school have um, felt uh, even up to the preparations for today that it's mind-blowing to thought that we might be singing for a man who maybe selected as the next pontiff um, but if not it doesn't matter because this parish has received such a blessing and it's such a boost for, for uh, for the parish priest and also for Scotland in general. It's an absolutely fantastic weekend, what with the consecration coming up tomorrow. Um, surely this has to be the turning of the tide for Scotland and uh, hopefully for the world as well. Well that was the first Pontifical High Mass that I've attended with His Eminence Cardinal Buck. Uh, and my impressions of it, it was a liturgy suitable for worship in the Lord God Almighty. Superb, on a different level. And I must admit that Cardinal Burke was a very gentle uh, person when I spoke to him. Uh, the whole Mass was beautiful, and as I said before, it raises your, 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 your worship to a new level. Uh, Unavochi Scotland invited the Cardinal first of all last year and he wasn't able to um, come for various reasons, it was just his, his diary was full, but <clears throat> he was pleased to come this year and we are very honoured and privileged to have him here and very uh, delighted at the event and last year when we were inviting the Cardinal our intention was to uh, invite him to come here as a boost to Father Morris and the parish because they are so good in accommodating the traditional mass and it's a show of gratitude to them as well. So it's been a great triumph. The church was absolutely packed full this morning with an overflow in the hall and standing room only in the church. Uh, it, it was great to see so many priests here. Um, and so I, I think that in conclusion, I would say it's been a triumph for Catholic tradition.